we're going to be joined by Ben Fuchs, Dr. Corey Gold's coming in later, Ted Anderson and MZ, if we can drag him in here. Uh, because I was doing a lot of research, and I knew that our soils were depleted. And I knew that that's why people were obese, because they had to eat all these calories, even if it was supposedly healthy vegetables, just to get the trace elements and minerals, because most of the fields are uh, not just uh, uh, devoid of the proper minerals and nutrients, but they're using toxic fertilizers that manipulate the growth of the plants, but, but, but where they have no value and actually have a bioaccumulated toxicity. The honeybees are dying. The wildlife that eats it, I mean, it's, it, it's a bad situation, not just counting the GMO nature. So I'd gotten off most GMO. I was drinking more water, eating less, jogging four or five days a week, and I, I could lose about five pounds, and that was it. I couldn't detoxify. And about a year ago or so, Ted Anderson got me in touch with one of our affiliate uh, folks who owns a few stations we're on and said, listen, uh, you know, uh, Ted had started it, and he said, I'm losing weight. My knees were, were hurting, feel great. You ought to really try this. And so I, I, I knew it was good stuff. I, I knew it made sense. Started promoting it about a year ago. Didn't really follow it, though, because I've never been a vitamin mineral guy. And I'd taken vitamins before because I guess I didn't absorb them, didn't do much. Aaron Dykes here, one of our writers and fill-in hosts and, and researchers, he went on it and followed it. Ben Fuchs talks about pharmacist Ben, who's about to be here with us. And he lost 65 pounds. You've seen the transformative change in six months. It has incredible energy. Uh, it's just amazing. So I finally, about now, I don't know, eight weeks ago, a little over two months ago, said, okay, I'm going to actually follow this. I'm actually doing tangy tangerine twice a day. Instead of doing toxic coffee, I'm going to do a pollen burst. Uh, I'm going to take a whey shake. All the products are, again, are at InfoWarsTeam.com because they've got the best all right there in one spot. You can sign up and get a discount. You know, just pay 10 bucks, get a discount on the products. Or you can just go there and buy them, as, as most people do. But the, it is a business opportunity. But that for me, that's a side issue. It's the products. And they really work. Now, the only side effect is because things like uh, Tang and Tangerine doesn't have caffeine. In it. But I'm crazed. The only problem is it's like I'm 22 again. I'm or it's like old radio was 15 years ago where I'm yelling, screaming more, getting aggressive. It, I, the only side effect is, is that I am crazed now. Uh, and, 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 and the more I, now I can jog eight miles instead of four miles. Now all of this is happening, and I just think everybody should find out more about Tangy Tangerine and all of it at InfoWarsTeam.com. And your purchase also supports our alternative media operations. And I invite our radio stations, which a lot of them are doing it, to sign up at InfoWarsTeam.com. And I'll voice ads for you and everything. Uh, and I think your stations should sell it. I know MZ's got a model where he could beat all the big guys for, you know, a decade, 15 years with longevity, trying to put him out of business selling longevity. And that's why they came to me with this and said, this will also help your stations. So I'm really sold on it. You've seen the change. 37 pounds in two months. Ben Fuchs joins us here. Uh, ben, what is going on with Alex Jones? I mean, uh, uh, you're a pharmacist, I should say, by training. Go ahead. Right. So many, there's so many different ways we could take it. But basically, you've been anti-domesticated. That's how I look at it. See, we're domesticated through our foods. We're made dumb through our foods. We're made weak through our foods. We're made uh, uh, docile through our foods. And what you're experiencing is changes in your biochemistry, specifically, it seems like, around estrogen, around insulin, and around the male hormone testosterone. Testosterone gives you virility. It gives you strength. It gives you power. It gives you the get up and go. Uh, over time, we become resistant to hormones, specifically insulin, that reduces our testosterone response and makes us, makes us more uh, passive, makes us more docile. And that's what it is. My testosterone's Yes. Up. You've resensitized your body to testosterone through the hormone insulin. And this is really the key. By dropping your insulin, you become more sensitized to testosterone. When we become insulin resistant, we lose our anabolic, our building edge. So the key to anti-aging and the key to wellness and the key to power and the key to vitality is re sensitizing your body to insulin, the hormone insulin. And you do that by dropping your calories, dropping your intake of refined carbohydrates, upping your intake of micronutrients, and upping your intake of protein. And you're a living testimony to this. And I also want to say one other thing. People lose weight. I was joking around before we went on air. I said we should tally up the amount of pounds that everybody lost. It would be, it would be tonnage. I mean, 
you talking about Aaron lost 60 pounds. I get letters from people losing 70 pounds. Ted lost 25 pounds. You lost 37 well, I, think, I think it's 35, yeah. The point is, is the weight will drop, but we don't want to focus on the weight loss. Yeah, you don't even sell, we don't even sell this saying weight loss. No. We it's funny. It's the ultimate weight loss. It doesn't say it. You're, you're carving up your body to where it should be by giving yourself good nutrition. You get more energy. You think more clearly. You have more get up and go, and you lose weight. Yeah, let's say it's 8 o'clock at night. I got the munchies. I, wanna, I don't go eat a ham sandwich. I just have a tangy tangerine. That's, that's right. Exactly. We need a straw for that. <laughs> Um, That's what you're having right now. Exactly. See, the point is, is that we become, we develop these habits based on our, uh, our need for nutrition, and we're getting the calories without the nutrients, as we talked about before. When we feel like snacking before bed, it's not calories we want, it's nutrients that we want. But our only option is caloric intake. So we have milk and cookies. But why do I get crazed when I drink tangy tangerine more than a pot of coffee? You call it crazed, I call it energized. Crazed is just a negative spin on it. You have more energy. Well, no, no, but I am crazed naturally, so I think well, that's yeah, the yeah. effect. That might be the problem there. But, but most of us just get more energy. We just get up more, get up and go. Don't you think that one of the most important, uh, uh, if people can have a, a health wish come true, don't you think it would be more energy? Don't you think it would be more get up and go? I mean, weight loss is important, but to me, it's the vitality. It's the zest. Health is not the absence of disease. Health is feeling great about life. Imagine if we all felt powerful and great about life. The disease, the weight loss, the, uh, the, uh, t the markers, the blood markers like cholesterol and like blood sugar, they would take care of themselves. If we could take care of the zest part, of the energy part, of the vitality part, the numbers would take care of themselves. That's why I never talk about weight loss with Beyond Tangy Tangerine. I talk about feeling better, and that's what happens. Now, everybody who's lost weight, they notice the weight loss, but if you ask them, they will also tell you they have more energy and they feel better, and that's really what this Which is Which is the difference, and the other times when I force myself to lose like 20 pounds by hard dieting and exercise, it's grueling and I, my stomach hurts and I'm hungry. Right, and you shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't be that. You should be loving exercise. I mean, the human body craves exercise. We secrete pleasure hormones. No, I want to leave early now to go run again. Right, because we secrete pleasure hormones when we're exercising. And also, I want to stomp people. That's not good. You just stop people and grab them? Stomp people. Oh, stomp people. No, that's the testosterone thing. You may, you may need, a, maybe we want to get you a little essential fatty acids or maybe some magnesium or something to kind of take the edge off. No, I like it. <laughs> that's different. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. No, I mean, it's just exciting. And I mean, being able to run eight miles now. That's awesome. I mean, it's awesome. We'll be right back. Now, Ben Fuchs is putting on an event with Dr. Corey Gold, MZ, Ted Anderson this weekend here in Austin. We'll tell you about that before uh, this hour ends. Also, you can find uh, the addresses of uh, both events and more info at InfoWarsTeam.com. But Ted Anderson, staying at my house last night, was not intending to even get him on air. We were talking about longevity and having a tangy tangerine, or was it a pollen burst? It was a tangy tangerine because it was at night. We go out to eat after, uh, before that, and Ted said, look at my cholesterol numbers, uh, because it was over 300. Uh, they were saying, we got to put you on Lipitor. Uh, you know, it's admitted that stuff so bad for you. You've had medical doctors on saying it literally eats your brain. And Ted uh, started only eating oatmeal and stuff, couldn't really lower it. And then he went on the longevity products and came back a few months later it goes from 300 to what 160 something there it is apple valley medical clinic blood test all of it we'll do a document cam for uh, viewers uh but uh, ted tell us about this well i mean as you can see i mean my triglycerides are at 368 my brother had bypass surgery three bypasses when he was 42 my dad has stints in him. My grandfather died of a heart disease, a heart attack. It was after his, I think it was ninth one in the 1970s. You walk into any medical clinic and have a physical, and they find 368 on your triglycerides, they're going to put you on statin drugs. Now, now, now there it is, 300 and something. If you go up, now 164. Yeah, 164. After I, after I got off the oatmeal in the morning and started taking a protein shake by Ben's recommendation, my cholesterol and also the the uh, tangy tangerine and uh, and essential fatty acids went from 368 to 164 in one year. 
I mean, you can't even hardly do that with their statin drugs. Can you imagine if a drug did that? Can you imagine what if they say if a drug did that with no side effects and no toxicity except you feel better? That's the side effect. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm but they used to burn women whenever they knew how to use all the herbs and things, and that was the old leech doctors. It's always been the establishment medical system that wants to give you lead and mercury. In fact, they used to give uh, 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 Andrew Jackson mercury uh, you know, to get him up out of bed when he was really old because I guess a poison will make you actually get up for a while uh, instead of hey, why don't you just have nutrition that your body needs? Right, exactly. I mean, I, I didn't know about this. I mean, personally, I've been walking around with a bum knee for how many years? They want to go in and do arthroscopic surgery to fix it, and eventually talking about knee replacement, I take Beyond Tangy Tangerine within two months. I'm walking without pain. I mean, a little bit of glucogel. They sell that product, too. You find it right up on InfoWars. And by the way, your dad, who has Alzheimer's, you were able to get him on it, and the doctor said no, and I brought that up to Ben, and then the Alzheimer's came back. I brought it up to Ben, and you said the doctors say, yeah, no vitamins. That's crazy, but here's the thing. You know, You're saying no green vegetables, they tell No them. green vegetables because it clots your blood. It has vitamin K in there, but here's the thing. You guys are surprised and amazed, and I can see why you're surprised and amazed. Think of me. I see this every day. I get the letters every day for years. Weight loss and cholesterol dropping and blood pressure dropping and people off their medication. I see it every day. I get letters about it every day, and I've gotten these letters for years because this is the way the body works. We're not sick. We're starving. We don't need to be fixed by any medical model. We need to be fed correctly with nutrition and nutritional supplementation and dietary strategies. Well, I'm convinced, and I get to see those emails, and I know thousands of people are convinced along with you. Right. And it's just amazing. I mean, Alex, I Yeah, just... but the proof's in the pudding. I mean, we ought to get Aaron Dykes in here. I mean, he lost 65 pounds. And now he keeps losing. I mean, it is insane. And he feels better. And he feels a lot. Oh, you, he, know what, you know what else, though, guys? You've decreased your risk of degener degenerative disease. You've decreased the likelihood of dying of a heart attack. You've decreased the likelihood that you're going to get cancer. You've decreased the chances that you're going to get a stroke. In addition to looking good, in addition to feeling better, in addition to losing weight, now you've dramatically cut your risk of degeneration as you grow older. And it's one thing to die early, but it's another thing to rot on the way down. And once you start taking care of your nutritional needs, not only are you going to increase your longevity and feel better, but you're going to decrease the likelihood that you're going to have one of these awful, awful degenerative conditions. And Chad, I know it's a sad story, but you volunteered for me to tell it. I mean, you, your dad got to where he didn't really know where he was when you said fishing. And after, what, six months on longevity, on the tangy tangerine and essential fatty acids, he, in your own words, he knew who he was again, was having a good time. Yeah. But then the doctor tested the blood and said, you're not allowed to have vitamin K. Well, because what happened when he went off of it? He's on Coumadin. I mean, he lost his memory again. I mean, when he was on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, I, I came over for a party one day. He told me what my brother was doing and why he couldn't be there on time, what his wife was up to, all the wow. short-term memory stuff wow. that he just... Your dad was back. Yeah, he was back. He had his cognitive... And, and, but the doctor, the God, says no. Yeah. Yeah, because... How do they get away with that, Ben? I mean... They're medical deities. We created a model through marketing and Edward Bernays and PR and spin and commercials and mass hypnosis. We've created this model that says that you do whatever the doctor said. How many times do you see these commercials? Ask your doctor. Make sure you ask your doctor. What about doctors doctor. in the 50s saying smoke cigarettes, they're good for you? Right. They did all kinds of stuff. They used to cure hemorrhoids by sticking an iron, uh, a hot iron rod up your hemorrhoid oh, area. Oh, let's not talk yeah. about well the, well, well, the leeches, too. All kinds of stuff. You know, the medical, the history of, mo of medicine is not pretty. There's a you know where lobotomies came from. The, the, a famous doctor, he would just jam ice picks in the brain laughing in front of his medical students with mentally ill people. Go if you don't believe me, folks, look it up. Ted Anderson, awesome. Thank you. We're going to get more testimonials with uh, pharmacist Ben Fuchs with Corey Gold straight ahead.